Hey guys, this is Skip Fisternator, and today I am doing a review on the 2004 LEGO Star Wars X-Wing Fighter and Yoda's Hut. This set came out in 2004, and the reason why I'm going throwback for you guys today is that it is Star Wars Day. Yes, it is Sunday, May 4th, 2014, so may the 4th be with you. Uh, today's a very special day. Already we have the Star Wars Rebels uh, full-length trailer that was released by Lucasfilm this morning, and we're hoping to get something else. Uh, come this evening or so, but I want to do something pretty special for you guys something Star Wars related for May the 4th I uh, unfortunately can't get the exclusive sand crawler that came out that was supposed to be exclusive set for May the 4th But I hope this one is pretty good I've been waiting to review this one for a special occasion and I figured today would be just fine so uh, right off the bat, I do not have the box nor the manual for this set, so you guys just and it is missing a couple parts here and there But the, mo the, the majority of it is still here so you do get three minifigures, it is 555 pieces, set 4502, and I do have a box image right here that I can show you, so that's what it looks like, or what the box would have looked like. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's get on to the minifigures. So, being this a 2004 set, you do or you are going to get some older minifigures, so first of all, here's R2-D2, and this is the older version, but he's still pretty good. Uh, he's really common minifigure back in the day, um, as you can see there's some printing right there, and this guy actually can fit his full, full body inside the X-Wing, unlike most fighters from that time, or even today, the astromechs cannot fit their complete bodies into the ship. So, excellent figure, his legs can move around, um, look, works really well. Uh, next we have is Yoda, so R2-D2 is not exclusive, nor is this Yoda. But he's really, really cool. We need to get a new movie version of Yoda. Um, well, we did in the Clone or in the, uh, not the Clone Wars, but in the Episode 2 Dooku Duel. But, um, this guy's really cool. I still have a really soft spot for him. He's really interesting. One of my first minifigures, I believe. Just really nice, classic figure. And that head mold, though, is so unique. So, anyway, on the back we have some nice wrinkles in his robe. And his head, as you can see right there. Very nice figure, and you kind of have to have him with Yoda's hut. So, um, that's Yoda, and we do get one more figure. And this guy is exclusive to the set, and it is Luke Skywalker. And if you guys remember from The Empire Strikes Back, Luke crashes his X-Wing in the swamp, and he goes on the J Jedi training with Yoda. And as you can see, he has his tank top on there, as well as flesh arms, yellow arms, I suppose. But as you can see, very accurate. And on the back, there's a clip here for his backpack, which is uh, elsewhere, but um, as you can see, he does come with a Rebel Pilot helmet, and he does come with his blonde hair, but I can't seem to find that piece right now, so um, he does come with those two. The face is pretty simple, but that's what they used for all of Luke Skywalker's heads in 2004. And so let's take it off, so I can show you the back printing. So then the... Clip can come off here. So, yeah, there you go. As you can see. Nothing too special, but it is good that they gave us, that they gave us back printing. And he does come with a shiny chrome. Here, let me just put his head back on. He does come with a shiny chrome lightsaber hilt. And a uh, lighter shade of green lightsaber blade. Which is, uh, again, really cool. I prefer these really shiny hilts that they have. Just excellent. The lightsaber is a little bit pale, but that's how they all were. Um, and dark gray legs. So, really nice figure. And uh, the main draw to this set in terms of minifigures. So, but this is actually... Uh, you buy this set for the actual set itself. I know there are some sets where you buy them for the minifigures. They're exclusive to the set or what have you. But this set itself is really cool. And is driving up some prices pretty high on eBay. And from what, I remember, from what I remember, there was this set had a long shelf run. It was originally released in 2004. I don't think I got it till 2007 or so because I remember it had a different uh, packaging than that. It had like a kind of a silver one. But anyway, on to the actual set. So the first, uh, here I'll zoom in. The first component we get is Yoda's hut. And this is actually a pretty sad scene in episode 6 when Yoda dies uh, in sight here. So I'll just show you the exterior. Obviously there's a lot of green, brown, and tan pieces, some swamp uh, foliage. 
um, some leaves all over the place here, really nice. This was on Dago Boss, so as you can imagine, there's a lot of parts here. And this is a really cool piece. This is 100% printed, and it basically is some roots and trees growing out of the top of the hut. Just really cool, and pardon the dust right there, but it's really awesome. Just big printed piece. This would normally be a sticker, I'm sure, today. But really nice, lots of cool elements. And here's the doorway where Yoda would stand. Just put them right there. And what's really cool about this is that it can open up similar to that of a playset. So there are two hinges on either side. And it can open up here. So let me just set this down. And the roof can actually is also on a hinge and can actually open up like that for better playability. And I'll just go in here by the section. So first part is actually his bed. A lot of people thought this was something else, like a storage container or whatever, but that's his pillow right there, the tan piece, and he can just lay down right there. And it's also pretty cool. This is kind of like your modern-day gun under the bed uh, kind of deal here. So this piece just lifts off. It's actually connected by one stud, I believe. Yeah, one stud. And inside is his lightsaber. So as you can see, there's a smaller slot for his hilt and a longer slot for the blade. I won't take it out because it's the same as Luke's, but that's just a nice compartment that they have in a storage room for his lightsaber. So let me just put this back on. Okay, onward we have the uh, barrel where you can put some food or whatever that he's cooking. And then onward this way we have a pepper shaker and a mug. Right there. Really nice additions, nice interior. And then over here, we have the stove where he would cook something. Uh, <laughs> and if you remember from Empire Strikes Back, he tries cooking um, something on this grill. It's pretty cool. And he offers it to Luke. But anyway, really nice interior. And then, uh, obviously, can just close back up. Luke can come inside here or whatnot. And just nice feature. So... Uh, many people have clamored about a new version of this. I think this is just fine the way it was. I don't really see how they can improve it much more. But uh, anyway, nice addition. Although I think the, um, the principal uh, component of this set would be the X-Wing Fighter. And it is not a bad rendition of it. So I'll just pick it up. Zoom out a little bit more. There we go. So it is pretty fragile since it is uh, almost a decade old. But it's really nice here. I'll give you a front view. A uh, nice front part here, and just construction. As you can see, there's some sw uh, swamp plants all along here and on the wings. Uh, the sides, and this kind of just hooks on top here. Red, white, tan, and gray are the main colors. The cockpit is also really cool. As you can see, it's printed as well, and it's attached via these hinges on top. And so inside, there's room for one. We have a lever and a... Uh, control panel. I'm going to try to show you that without sh some shadow. So there you go. As you can see, let me get that lever out of the way. There we go. So as you can see, there's the control panel. And it's kind of like, just like the one that we saw when he's doing the trench run. Uh, he has the targeting computer and he's trying to launch the missile. Sorry for the shaking, but... And then this closes right back up. And then over here we have the engines right here with the Rebel Alliance logos on either side and then this slot is actually where R2-D2 goes so let me just get R2 and his whole body can fit in there really cool there's no gimmicky features where he can inject out of it or anything but he just slides right in there looks perfect I think this is a really underrated um, feature of this set and I think more sets should do that the Jedi Interceptor made a kind of a good attempt to it but his legs were still kind of hanging out underneath I'd, it is somewhat accurate, but I prefer this a lot better. It looks really good. So anyway, on to the actual wings and the cannon. Sorry that the, this is the actual cannon that comes with it. On You get do get four of these, and that's what they're all supposed to look like. Two go on either side, and they have a cone here. I just was missing a couple pieces on the bottom one, but I wanted to show you a complete version. And on the bottom here is what a complete bottom version would look like, just with a... A cone and the plate attached to it and on top here another complete cannon minus the cone <laughs> but uh, on the wings here we have the red five markings which is his uh, name as we, you can as you saw in a new hope and in this movie uh, red five five stripes uh, it's sorry about the dirty dust sorry but it does have some red 
is the main color to him. Uh, some tan on top here. Another engine printed piece. These are all both printed, by the way. Really nice. Uh, on the bottom here, we have what's kind of interesting. I, I think they kind of implemented it wrong a little bit, but it's an storage compartment which can open up like that and you could put his lightsaber or whatnot I actually put his hair in there and that's like how I think it got lost but anyway that can just that's as far as it closes up which is okay I mean and then underneath here we have the landing gear which is pretty advanced for its time um, they actually still use the same methods today but it's really nice here landing gear and it just folds right back up so if you guys will excuse me I need to recharge my battery and I'll be right back Okay, I'm back, so sorry about that, but I was going through the wings here, and this is the main feature that I wanted to show you guys, and it's really detailed on the back here, is the engines. We have some trans-orange plates on each side, and this one fell off, I'm not sure where it went, but uh, you get the point, it looks really nice, as you can see underneath here, that's how they're constructed with the old, um, kind of like these pieces were used in Mars, the kind of, the Mars Lego sets where they would use like the rovers or whatnot, um, Speaking of rovers, there's a hint for another video, but I mean, on top here we have uh, the same construction, just kind of so it attaches differently on top here, so two of each. And then these rubber bands here are actually responsible for turning up the wings and putting it in flight mode, so this uh, gear right here is the controller for that. And so I'm going to go back out a little bit, zoom out, and... If you just turn it clockwise, as you can see, the wings start to go upwards. And I'll show you inside here that that's the piece that you're turning. The axis here, and it just goes all the way up until it reaches the full length. So that's what it looks like in attack mode. It looks really cool. And uh, from the front here, that's how an X-Wing really should look like. Uh, sorry about that. just had to get a better hand on it. So... There you go, looks really awesome, just fantastic set in attack mode especially, really nice. So as you, you can just see it looks really cool coming right at you, and it can uh, obviously close back up. So a fantastic set, and just really, really awesome, 555 pieces is what the piece count was on this, and uh, if you lift this hatch here, I forgot to show you, you can see the inner workings kind of of the wing mechanism. There you have the clear box in there. And such, so in the LEGO Star Wars Technic sets, there was these rubber bands, but they would be deteriorating quite quickly. But uh, thankfully this one hasn't, otherwise the wings would no longer be able to be deployed. Um, but yeah, just a fantastic set. I love it, and it was one I got a long time ago. I don't even uh, remember where I got it, but it's just awesome, awesome, awesome set. I'm really happy I have it. And LEGO might make another version of this. They obviously have a billion, billion X-Wings, but they might make another version of Yoda's Hut. The minifigures, again, are perfect for this set. Just do the job well done. And, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. May the 4th be with you, and more videos coming up very soon. So I'm trying to look, actually, at the price for this set, and I can't seem to find it. But as you can see right here, this set is going for $160 on eBay which is just absurd. You know, I know this wasn't a hundred dollar set, or um, it was a little bit less, but it's a, nonetheless a very good deal, and it's obviously gotten higher in price, especially if it's new. So uh, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. More coming soon, and please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.